Uh, I'm Paul Nicholson. I'm a Basque farmer, a retired dairy farmer, a member of Ene Vizcaya and of Via Campesina. And food sovereignty, the whole movement of food sovereignty encompasses thousands of movements all over the world, north and south, who struggle over the democratic control of uh, food, who produces it, how it's produced, and for who, and where it's produced. It's all the basic issues of how to uh, manage uh, nature and, and food. Food sovereignty, in fact, is the right of peoples uh, to define uh, food and agricultural policy. And it puts food and uh, peasants and the food producers, food pro providers, both fisher folk, farmers, peasants, pastoralists, forest dwellers, in the center of the whole picture. Today, food has become one of the main issues in, uh, in the problems and the debates of society because there is a major food crisis, there is a major energy crisis and a food sovereignty based agriculture, an agroecological agro, agro agriculture is the basis on which future uh, development should be made. We say that it is the small family farmer which feeds the world. And in fact, the statistics say that 70% of the food which is ate in the world is grown locally. And we also say that it is the food sovereignty-based model of agriculture, agroecology, which cools the planet. It is the industrial intensive agriculture which uh, not only generates hunger, but also heats, warms the planet. So, the food sovereignty is a major multi-dimensional issue. It's not only of the farmers, it's not only of the environmentalists or the consumers, it's a, a wide variety of issues which brings us together to struggle against the capitalist model of society. We are building a new society with new ethics, with a new economy, bottom up, we are building our own alternatives today and very clearly from the small farmer, from the local consumer groups, we're developing all kinds of alternatives to make our lives more dignified and more livable and more sustainable.